I guess first off, hopefully uh, everybody in your family is okay uh, with the virus going around. Um, were you, were you, did you stay here for the entirety of this? I mean, since the shutdown, have you, have you been in market this whole time? No, I went, I went to home for like a month and a half probably. Okay. And, um, uh, so when did you get back here and what has been your, I guess, what has been your reaction to everything that you've seen as you're catching up and as, as you've seen go on here over the last six weeks between uh -huh. i guess the virus here in the u.s and some of the other social issues that have gone on here yeah i mean uh i got back here uh, I don't know. for example like i think i think like it's like it's like fourth week already probably no like, like, like let's say like three weeks something like that um what's been going on here uh i mean it's of course a big issue this like i've heard from the guys the issues is, is like for a long time already, you know, like, and uh, uh, they didn't really want to talk about it in the locker room or like in the in the chat. Uh, so, I mean, I don't really know much about it. They, I, I just know my, I have my opinion about it, you know, that like every life matter, but like the message with the Black Lives Matter, it's like specifically to the situation what's happening right now in the, in the, in the, in the States. So, I mean, I don't. I don't really know much about it, you know, and I don't really like try to watch more news and get to know, get to get the details, you know. I'm trying to focus on the work right now, and then, uh, of course, I'm gonna do something on my back, like all the players are gonna do in in the, in the Orlando. But uh, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna, you know, just 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 focus on on, on the work right now. Thanks. And my follow up. Uh, obviously, the work is getting ready for the restart in Orlando. Um, I'm sure you've seen. Though the the COVID numbers in Flo in the U.S. in general and Florida in specific, mm -hmm. uh, when you came back, I mean, how concerning is the idea of getting back out on the court and specifically going to Orlando, where the numbers seem to be so high? How, how where's your concern level with that? I, I don't I'm not really concerned about anything because I think NBA is doing everything to you know to provide security and like you know the virus doesn't get into the bubble so uh that we are safe there you know that we have something to do there and i don't i don't think it's going to be a problem if, if everyone follows the rules and everyone does what they have to like they do what they have to do so we'll, we'll be all safe there probably thank you hey roadie it's alex hope all is well I uh, I want to start. You know, you talked about being in Latvia. I'm just curious, what was your experience in Latvia like uh, with the virus compared to here? Was it pretty locked down over there? Was it relatively open? Uh, uh, how was it when you were home for all with all that? When I arrived, it was like uh, two weeks quarantine, and then when once my quarantine was over, like I think started open open up already. So so people were going out of the houses, you know, going to restaurants, and like and it was pretty easy. It was easy situation. I think we had like over a thousand, thousand cases like in Latvia, so it's, it wasn't it wasn't as much. So, and uh, and kind of piggybacking off that, we we asked Tim this, but have you gotten a lot of questions from relatives over there now that you're back here as to why the U.S. is still struggling with the virus or, or why the numbers are still surging at all? No, I didn't get any questions. I didn't. I didn't. You know, talk to the to the to the media. To not not. Yeah, and then um, just, you know, what, what do you think of the opportunity you have in Orlando? I mean, you know, with a lot of guys, especially in the front court opting out, it seems like you're kind of the one poised to get, you know, a lot more minutes and, and maybe benefit the most from, from some of these guys not being able to play. Uh, what, what do you think of your situation and how, how the guys dropping out has kind of affected? It's a great opportunity, of course. Of course, it's a great opportunity, not just for me, it's for everyone, you know. For, for me, Janan, for, for, for young guys, all the young guys, you know, it's just – it's a great opportunity for us to show up and uh, step up and help, help the team. You know, we'll definitely, as a group, we do, we'll do the, the best what we can. Awesome. Thanks, Rody. Hey, Rody. It's Tom. It's good to see you. Hello. Um, just going into Orlando, it's, it's going to be such a unique playing environment, right? No fans, and, and they're going to try and, you know, dress it up as much as they can. Do you have any sense on, on, um, 
what it's going to be like, you know, playing in that kind of a unique environment. Is it kind of a weird thing, you think? Or I was watching, I was watching uh, ACB League when my brother played with the, with the, with the Spanish team. So like, it wasn't as bad actually. You know, it's, it's actually pretty, it was actually pretty cool. I, I asked about his experience. He said it was pretty pretty alright to play in empty gym. It wasn't that bad. So I don't think it's gonna be bad in Orlando too. You know, you're gonna hear a lot of trash talk on cameras probably. Cool. Thanks, Rowdy. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rody, how's it going? It's Christian. What's up? Good, good. Hey, uh, quick question. You know, you you had improved your three point shot dramatically from last year to this year. I think this year you're shooting closer to thirty nine percent. Last year you were in that thirty one percent. Were you at all disappointed that you weren't able to get some consistent playing time, even though you had obviously improved your game over the over the summer? No, actually, I don't, I don't know. I, I wasn't really. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, mad about it or like disappointed about it because uh, you know I, I, I've been through this I've been through this in Barcelona I've been I know how what it takes you know and the, the the situation changed you know we had a lot of wets now you know they have to play they want to play so I was just I was just staying you know staying ready you know stay work, work hard with the, with other guys and 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 you know waiting for my opportunity so now now it's here for now I'm uh, I'm gonna be happy to use it. Did they ever tell you, or did Kenny or did any of the assistant coaches ever tell you exactly what they wanted to see from you to be able to break your way into the into the rotation? Yeah, they were talking, talking to me about it. Yep. Is, is there anything that you can share with us and, and see if you kind of actually like check some of those boxes off? I mean, is they said it's the easy stuff they want want me to do. They want me to make like you know make the right play, make the right decision, shoot the open shots, uh, set a good screens, cuts. Uh, rebounds, 50-50 balls, like like it's every, everything what I want before. They just wanted it cause, consistent because like since some games maybe I had like uh, maybe five rebounds and I had like zero rebounds in some games in you know, last like season, for example, and like they wanted to like, for me to do it consistently. So, got gotcha. you. Was, was probably the key. Uh, last question: Did did you have a, a hoop at home, and were you able to kind of like work at your on your jump shot, or just work on your game at home, or how were you how were you working out when when the team facilities were closed? Yeah, first I was working working out with Davis uh, okay. but because everything started to open up and we had gyms we, had, we everything was open. We worked out with him together. And then I got my own coach. I started working out on my pick and roll game, uh, okay. like pick and pops. Like uh, I was I was playing pick and roll by myself, like with with the, with the coach, with a big man, uh, like drib like dribbling skills, you know, ball handling, shoot shots. Of course, I, I was getting a lot of shots in and was was working on it for sure. Got it. Thank you, Rody. Hi, Rody. It's Greg. Uh, sorry I joined a little late, but I just wanted to, and I'm probably asking something that's already been asked, but I, I just wanted to ask you about how you feel about this opportunity that you're going to have in Orlando for expanded playing time. I mean, it's like I said, it's a good opportunity, of course. You know, a lot of guys are not playing. Uh, not just opportunity for me, for other guys too. You know, I'm just gonna use it as you know, 100% as much as I can. So, so, so I take it you did not go back to Europe. I went. I went for two months, like for a month and a half, more, a little more, maybe. What What was that like while you were over there, and how did they handle the coronavirus disease compared to the United States? It wasn't as hard. It was it was much easier than here for sure. Uh, I had a two two week quarantine, then and then things started opening up, opening up. You know, we were able to go to the to the to the places like where twenty five people crowded, fifty people. You know, a uh, big crowd. So it wasn't it wasn't really bad. We had like fifteen like overall we had like fifteen hundred cases probably. So so your country was able to. Uh to flatten the curve a lot faster than this country. Yes, for sure. And and finally, uh, for me, just in terms of of the opportunity that you have in Orlando, you know, what are your goals for the Nets? What do you think you guys can accomplish down there? I mean, uh, I th I think we definitely we're in the playoffs. We we have to be in the playoffs for sure. Uh, first round. 
if we if we're in seventh seed, we'll we're gonna go against Toronto probably. So I mean, we definitely have chance. We've been we've been competing with that team, and uh, I definitely think we can we can we can we can beat them in round one. Go to the round two, and then we'll see from there uh, who who we are facing. So thanks a lot, Roddy. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Last question, Christian. We'll kick it to you. Uh, Rody, just quickly, I'm curious, had you ever, obviously there's a lot of protesting going on uh, in America, had you ever seen any protesting like this at home and, and did you have conversations with, with teammates about what was happening? Never. I've never seen it before. <laughs> did, I guess, did you, did you learn something new about, about this country just based on what's been happening there over the last couple months? Like I said, I didn't really get into details, but like I've heard, like we didn't really talk about with the guys a lot about it, but I've heard a little bit from, from some people, from my friends uh what people have been doing and why they're protesting yeah of course i've learned a little a little something a little bit i took some a little bit from that from that situation but i didn't get into details a lot